Hey there guys and welcome back to Nimby Rails. Something that I've neglected to mention for like three episodes since I did it is I've added some ferries in. Only at the Isle of Wight so far, just because it allows me to have passengers use the island line and then cross over to the rest of the network. So I've got the hovercraft over to South Sea, the catamaran from the pierhead, and the ferry from Fishbourne, and then I've also got the ferry from Cowes into Southampton which serves next to no purpose because it doesn't actually link to the network and from Yarmouth to Lymington which does serve a purpose it means Yarmouth residents can actually get onto my network I only have one type of ferry um, it is whichever one this is so the holocraft, catamaran and ferries all use this but people do seem to use them, like there's 884 people on here going to Portsmouth Harbour ready to get onto the train and head further north and something's going on in Portsmouth and South Sea. I think that's still from where I changed all the SWR services to 450s. Um, there's been a bit of congestion as that's trickled in. I know it's still happening at Southampton as well. It should resolve itself eventually, hopefully. So today we are going to start looking at Liverpool. I, I know I did Manchester in the last episode, and I'm going straight to Liverpool. And then maybe next episode we'll link the two together, I don't know. Um, so we're going to start with Lime Street, if I can remember where it is. I think it's in here somewhere. This looks like the right sort of place. So, tracks, platforms. We have... It's a little complicated. I've, I've been to Liverpool once, and my memory of how the station is laid out is not the same as what this map shows. So, well, it's similar, but the the platforms are a mess at Liverpool. <laughs> That's all I can say for them. But I think it's like there's 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 only ten platforms total. It's five over here and five on the other side, five on each side, effectively. Where the the north side is sort of local stopping suburban, and the south side is the longer distance express services. Uh, and Liverpool Lime Street and the other thing to add is the tunnel it's sort of here but I'm gonna put it sort of there make it 200 meters I'm not sure how long it actually needs to be this is for Mersey Rail so I know the, the current Mersey Rail trains the 507s are three or six car units. I can't make them six cars, they have to run as three cars. But if they were six cars they'd be about 120 metres long, just under. Okay, so I can make the platform a lot shorter then. They're changing to the 777s eventually, which appears to have a slightly broken... Oh, there we go, the text just fixed itself. Which are these four car units, and they will only run as four car units of 82 metres. I think 120 meters will be fine then. Um, as far as I'm aware, the 777s aren't in yet. They're still using. I don't know. The, the platform is like all the way out there. It, it's sort of there on the map. There. So it is about 200 meters on the map. But I'll make it 150. That's still longer than it needs to be. Okay. Now then, track. Track out the end of Liverpool. Again, a bit of complicated stuff. So it's sort of... It is out in the open. But for the sake of getting somewhere, I might put it in a tunnel. Well, it does go into a tunnel here, so I guess I can do that. And then it sort of comes out again and has loads of bridges as it comes down here I believe down to there-ish and then it goes back into a tunnel it's four tracks so we'll just build the other pair and these sort of go over this side of the station out to there that's where it becomes a bit more complicated, is I can't... 
apparently I can't control Z that, okay. Um, I can't just nicely bring that out of the tunnel, that has to stay in the tunnel really. Um, I think going into the middle track is going to be best here. I, it's actually not going to be possible for me to build this junction accurately, which is a little unfortunate, but if I bring that out like that and then try, try and work something else out for the other line, I, that works, so we'll do that. Then we're coming out of here, no, not like that like that to bring it over to this track and now it's going to complain sure okay can we go from after the points then and make it look nice uh, I said points earlier I meant bridge I'm gonna to have to put this into a tunnel just to get under there that'll do it's ugly but it serves a purpose and then out here we just have um, methods to get from all four tracks to the rest of the tracks if that makes sense so you can get from any track to any other track but I'm already running as bi-directional effectively so uh, not bi-directional, unidirectional pairs I, I can talk, I know what I'm on about Definitely. I'm definitely competent. What I do need to find out is where Edge Hill is. And where we come back out of the tunnel. We sort of poke out again. I don't know. I'm really confused. <laughs> we go under the central teaching hub. And we come out again just after this road. And go along down here. It's really weird because it is actually in the open for a lot of this, even though it's going a weird diagonal across a a um a, a whatever it's called. I don't know, housing estate, I guess. Better definition than anything else. So if we continue on through the tunnel, down past the central teaching hub, and we come out sort of there. Realistically, I think I'm going to just leave it in a tunnel, it's going to be easier. Until down here where it actually comes out. But then I need to look at how it works as a station. So, there are four platforms. They're on a weird curve, and they are not that long. So I'm going to go with that. That's that's way too long really for, for my needs, but it'll do. Edge hull, edge hill, there we go. This track comes in like that. Yeah, I guess that does serve a purpose actually. So they're meant to be right next to each other in a narrow retaining wall lined cutting. And there we go, edge hill. And that's given me the space to put in the other set of points along here. Take that, bring it down here, take that, bring it up, and there we go. And that's the approach to Liverpool done. I'm now going to go on to Merseyrail because I don't want to do the main line right this second, basically. So Liverpool Central is again going to be a little difficult to find. Where is it in relation to the Central Village Post Office? <laughs> Is that something that's marked on open railway maps? Doesn't appear to be. Oh well. This square is. And then it seems to be sort of under here. This is the station building, I think. So we have... And the thing to note is that the... Uh, the... the loop of Mercy Rail, the Mercy Rail loop, so not that platform, but this one, is single track. Um, the trains only run in one direction around the loop. I'm building it double track because it's easier to do that. So this is Liverpool Central, well, 
uh, it's, I said it's easier to do that, it's the only thing I can do. I cannot build a single track yet, that's not been added to the game. 150, there we go, it's more like that. Then we bring this line round, and it just curves nicely into there. So if I can just make that look like a nice, nice curve of not completely different radii, sure, that'll do. Liverpool Central. The next station to build would be... I'm not sure. Liverpool James Street is probably the best bet to go with. Which is around here somewhere. He says. Yeah. Okay, so it's, um, it's more sort of here, I think. 150 metres and... It's meant to be a bit further away than this, but I have to build it close enough that they're touching. Oh, I can sort of bring it out on an angle like that. This is Liverpool James Street. I'm not sure it needs the Liverpool, but all well with it, because that's what the thing is telling me, that not that way. I want out of here, up to there. And I also want a, a... What I want then, clearly, is more nodes. Uh, no, connect, please. Up to here. <laughs> Make it look nice. But let me add in a set of points that doesn't look horrific. And then we go up to the other the last station on the loop Moorfields which is around here somewhere I do believe um, let me just work out I think it's sort of these platforms are miles away from each other there's the uh, the city line I think it I don't know which lines which I can't remember the names well the loop is the rural lines the other one up the northern line? Yeah, most around northern line, it says it, on the, it says it on open railway maps. The other platform's all the way over here. But in the interest of making them the same station, <laughs> I guess we're shifting it. So 150, 150. And we call this Moorfields. So the north, the, the Mersey Rail layout is really awkward, actually, I discovered when I was trying to ride Mersey Rail, um, which is the only reason I went to Liverpool, was purely to ride as much of Mersey Rail as I could in one day. Half Part of it was closed, so I couldn't ride all of it, otherwise I would have. Um, the Northern Line doesn't actually go to Lime Street. It connects in at Liverpool South Parkway and Hunts Cross to National Rail, but it doesn't connect at Lime Street, so you have to change at Moorfields and go one stop round on the rural line to Lime Street or if you're getting onto the Northern Line from National Rail you have to get one stop round on the rural line to Liverpool Central and then change. It's a bit awkward. Um, where am I taking this? I am taking it round there is what I'm doing with it but I'm making it look not terrible in the process. I'm going to make this curve nice it does sort of come out above that road, so that's okay. There we go, that's not terrible. Next step is the lack of nodes here is now going to cause issues. While I can connect stations with only one node in between, clearly I'm realising now it's not necessarily a smart idea. Because it makes the um, entrance onto the points really elongated. There we go, the connecting line that's never doesn't actually see any passenger service. Now then, the next stop would be... Why is... There's a rural tramway marked on the map that I didn't know existed. That's intriguing. I might have to look that one up. Okay, anyway. Birkenhead, not Birkenhead. Hamilton Square first. 
is somewhere. And that somewhere is around here somewhere. I think it's down here actually. Um, the There is this track and then there's a third platform. I have to make pairs. So we'll have the line through under the river to there. That's not ideal, actually. I'm going to have to have another node or two. <clears throat> I've got to remember when I've got points, I need more nodes. Nodes must be more frequent. Just because I can build long distances between them doesn't mean I should. There we go. I mean, realistically, the tunnel's meant to be perfectly straight, but. Oh well. That's as close as I'm going to get it. We have this come out and into there. And then we have points off of there and into here. And it is called Hamilton Square. Then I'm going to head out this way up north to West Kirby and New Brighton I think are the two places it goes to mainly because I've already got Bidston built for the end of the Wrexham to Bidston line and it would be quite nice to connect up to it is my feeling so the next stop is Conway Park which is here I think is in the open I think it's in a tunnel either side, but the station itself is in the open. So, if we just go Conway Park. It's an interesting name because it's not actually in Wales, but it's using a Welsh name. The interesting thing about this is, again, because that station's meant to be three tracks, one line's meant to come off here, having shared a platform with the other line. And then the other track is meant to dive underneath and go into that platform. So we'll do that. There we go. We'll make that look not terrible. <laughs> I hope I've not gone past Birkenhead Central. That would be annoying if I have. Okay, next stop is Birkenhead Park. That is here. And now we are properly in the open at this point. The platform actually is 200 metres here. It does seem to use 200 metre platforms along the line. And I'm doing all of them at 150 because it feels better for the length of train. Birkenhead Park. I mean, maybe that means they will be running the, the new 777s in double set formations. I have no idea. I've Beyond knowing they're coming into service at some point, I don't really know anything about them. I know they're a couple of years late. I know they're going to have platform filler gap things, platform gap fillers. So they've had to remodel all the platforms along the line, which is why when I went to Ride Merseyrail, the Asma Port and Chester branches were shut for the day. But apart from that, I don't really know anything about the, the whole plan. Birkenhead North, which hopefully has three platforms, although I think in this case I only need two. We'll just have a longer station, it'll do. Um, that is going to have to go into a tunnel briefly to get onto that junction. <laughs> There's no way around that. Okay, and then we come down here. I'm not sure I'm going to get over that road. I don't know if it'll be above or below the road. I'm going above. And into there. And this is Birkenhead North. Uh, if I can spell, which it turns out I can't. Then I just double check. 
do we have another station? No, is the answer. So, I'll get the track out and bring it along. And we, we sort of come up like this. There is a siding somewhere around here that I'm going to just plainly ignore. And it comes around and into Bidston. And then the other line comes up here. And if I pull the nodes out a bit, that should give me a bit more space to work with. There is a siding here, which I believe is sometimes used as the turnaround siding for the Wrexham to Bidston trains, rather than turning around in the platform. I have them turning around in the platform. So, there's that. Oh, it is, it's not a sighting, it is a full-on depot. Okay, I should probably put it in then, really, shouldn't I? There we go. I think it is the depot, depot for the real line services. Sorted. Now, if we head up to... If we head out to West Kirby first, because then I can put in the train that stops at Bidston, if nothing else today. And I don't think it goes much further. So, Liso is here. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right because that doesn't sound right but I don't know how she'd pronounce this. Liso. And then over here is Morton. Not much further away but there we go, Morton. And Mills Mules, mules could be could be mules. Never know. You never know with place names. Uh, can I get it off that lake? There we go. Uh, it doesn't need the park. And Manor Road is sort of around here. I'm gonna go with where that little. Uh, peeking bit out of path was. Feels right. What is this manor road? It's already forgotten. Then Hoy Lake is down by the roundabout. Oh yeah, that's nice and obvious. There's a footbridge. Hoy Lake. And now just the last stop at West Kirby. Um, which is, is it actually all the way in here? It is. West Kirby. There's only one service runs out here. So, it only needs the single platform. So we'll just connect all the track up, then I'll put the service in and we'll be done for the day. So there we go, Manor Road and Mills and get get back on track with the line that I need to be following. Over the river and round and Morton and continue along to Liso, no, that looked ugly to Liso and it's done, there we go build all blueprints, it was quite expensive but that's because there was a lot of tunnel in the in central Liverpool so, lines here we go, motor rail is a yellow not go for a completely ugly yellow though it's Let's consider it nicely. Um, I think we'll go with MR for Mersey Rail. Or ME. ME might be better. Realistically, it's West Kirby to West Kirby rather than West Kirby to Liverpool Lime Street. But although actually, the Wikipedia also uses Liverpool Lime Street to West Kirby. Um, just because of the way the loop works, it's a bit awkward to actually say. Like, a, a train will leave. I think they use more fields, possibly. 
Oh, I think a train will a train will say it's it will leave West Kirby saying it's going to Lime Street, and then at Moorfields it will change to a train to West Kirby. So once it gets to Lime Street, it's already saying its new destination. If I remember correctly. Anyway, that was the wrong button to click. West Kirby. That was the wrong platform to click. Hoy Lake, Manor Road, wherever that was. These places. Bidston. <laughs> Birkenhead North. Birkenhead Park. Conway Park. Hamilton Square. Liverpool James Street. Mm, now realistically this works because you sort of you go off on the left. Because trains drive on the left in the UK, but because I'm driving on the right, this means everything's gonna cross over each other. But there's no way around that. So back in here. I can avoid the crossovers here by having the, the wrong line go into the wrong platform at Hampton Square. But I can't avoid it at Liverpool unless I went the wrong way around the loop, and I really don't want to go the wrong way around the loop. Oi Lake, there we go. Then if I buy a train, I'm not gonna buy the 777, because they're not in yet, as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna go with the currently in use 507. I'm going to purchase. I'm going to go back to lines and use the timing calculator. And a min stop interval of I oh know it's a it's a metro service effectively, but a minute, because otherwise the people complain. And there's four an hour apparently. So that's 0, 15, 30, 45, 1, 5 trains. So if I clone it four times, that should be the five trains. Clone four times. There we go. And now we have a Merseyrail route to West Kirby and a connection at Bidston, which means people living in central Liverpool can already get to everywhere that I've already built because they could get a Merseyrail service to Bidston and then the hourly um, transport for Wales service down to Shotton or Wrexham. I mean, have fun with that, people who live in Liverpool. You might want to wait until I've connected up the West Coast Main Line and got a Vanti up to you. So, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.